All right, so when it comes to Linux distros, you have multiple options to choose from. There's a lot of Linux distros out there. But if you're used to Windows, I would recommend Linux Mint because the user interface layout is very similar to Windows and you'll be able to navigate the operating system uh, pretty quickly. You'll be able to kind of learn how it works. So I'll have this link down below to linuxmint.com. You want to go here, click on the download tab up here at the very top. You've got three different desktop environments to choose from, uh, Cinnamon, Mate, and XFCE. Uh, if you don't know what any of these are, I would just recommend going with Cinnamon as it says up here because it, it is the most popular. Now, you want to make sure you get the right uh, version for your processor, you know, for your computer, uh, depending on if you're using a 32-bit or a 64-bit computer. And you can check this by going into your system properties within Windows and it will tell you there if you're using a 32-bit or a 64-bit processor. If you have a newer computer, chances are it's going to be 64-bit. Uh, and that is definitely, in my case, the laptop that I'm using for this is a much newer laptop, so it's obviously 64-bit. So you just have to verify that, download whatever uh, version pertains to you, then go to the second link down below, which is going to be to rufus.ie, and this is the tool that we're going to need to actually copy the contents from this ISO image over to our USB drive. So just scroll down here and download whatever the latest version is, which at the time of this video is 3.1.0. or 3.10. So download this and uh, it's just a executable file. So all you have to do is just run it. And then this is it right here. So what you're going to do is first off, select what device that you want to uh, copy the image contents to. So make sure you're using the right, like if you have multiple devices plugged into your system, make sure you have the right USB drive selected. Now again, if you're watching this video, you need to have two USB drives. You need to have one for your Wii console and one to use uh, on your computer with Linux. So you cannot like if you're watching this video and you click that card and you you know don't have a Linux machine you need to have two USB drives instead of one so plug one of those into your computer and uh, select it here from the list then under boot selection you just want to leave it at the default option which is disk or ISO image and then you want to click on the select button and browse to the Linux mint or whatever Linux distro that you downloaded ISO image uh, on your computer so I've got the image file selected right here for all these options you're going to want to leave them at the default so don't really change any of these settings you can change the volume label if you want but uh, once you just have the image selected go ahead and press start and when you get this message right here that says download require just click on yes and then when it comes up with this image you just want to go with the recommended option which is right in ISO image mode so press OK and now it's going to come up with this warning saying that all data on this device will be destroyed because you are going to format this. So if you have any data on this drive, you want to make sure it's backed up before that you do this. So go ahead and press OK. Now, once this finishes, you're going to want to either leave the USB drive plugged into your computer if you're going to boot off of it on the same machine. Or like in my case, I'm using this on my laptop, so I'm going to unplug it from the computer I'm on right now, plug it into my laptop. And then if you're using Windows 10, you want to open up your start menu. Click on the power icon, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then click restart. When you do that, Windows is going to launch into this advanced boot options menu. You want to click on use a device, and then you want to select whatever USB drive that shows up, which will have a name of either Linux or Linux Mint or something like that. You want to select that USB drive. And then when the bootloader comes up, you just want to press enter on the first option and your computer will load into a Linux Mint desktop. And that's pretty much it. Now it's worth noting that you didn't override any of your Windows data because you're essentially booting off of a separate hard drive. So don't worry, all your Windows data is safe. You're, you're still going to be able to boot into Windows just fine once you power off the machine and remove your uh, USB drive from it. You'll be able to load back into Windows uh, just totally fine. So that's it for this little mini tutorial. So go ahead and click on your screen right now to go back to the main tutorial video that you came from to continue on with the process of homebrewing your Nintendo Wii or Wii Mini.